Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and there's audio attached to this. Here is her story. Hi, Ollie. A few months ago, I submitted a post that you covered and named when the narcissist has nowhere to rub their salt, and holy shit, you hit more than a few nails on the head. Fast forward a few months, and the situation with my covert narcissist ex-husband is even worse. I finally discovered his cycle of abuse and no longer give in when he decides to Hoover love bomb me. Unfortunately, ignoring him only pisses him off. So now he's retaliating my dismissal by he's retaliating my dismissal by using our kids as bait. He has launched a smear campaign to his family and mine as well to our kids' therapists and their teachers and school counselors, claiming I'm an unfit mom and that he's filing for full custody. Based on legal advice, I record each and every phone call and save every text message email to show just how delusional he truly is. I'm in no way, shape, or form scared that he can take actually take our kids away from me. What is killing me is how he willingly brings them into his nastiness and exposes them to his lies and hatred towards me. I'm sharing a video I made from a recent phone conversation so that you can give me your opinion on what I'm dealing with. I'm documenting my experiences in hopes that other victims will find some validation for what they are going through. Covert narcissists are so damn sneaky that most of their targets end up looking completely nuts by the end of the attack because most people don't see the abuser for who they really are. God bless anyone who's going through anything similar. These people have to be demon-possessed. I honestly cannot think of any other explanation for this kind of behavior. Thank you for exposing them and telling the truth. Anonymous. <clears throat> On to the recording. In six minutes so and I have not listened to this okay so I have been divorced from my ex for about a year and a half um, he has tried to get back together I finally stopped uh, refusing to be a part of the cycle and he's really been uh, increasing his threats and harassment and um, um, gaslighting and projection and huge, huge uh, smear campaign to my kid's school, to uh, the kid's therapist, um, his family, he's tried with mine. I mean, who knows who else, but um, it's increasingly got worse and worse and worse since January. So I uh, just wanted to show a little clip from a conversation that just happened this morning, which is March the seventh and I'll spare you from the entire thing because it's it's just it's stupid to have to listen to to be honest it's just pointless because I'm just trying to tell him that I'm only going to talk about the kids so um, here we go okay And notice here in a second, his voice actually changes and he gets mad. Do what? I noticed it when I was listening back. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll change the calendar for spring break stuff if that's what you're wanting to do. And I guess just let me know otherwise. Uh, I don't know what the change is, but. Do you want me to have them the full time? Want the paperwork, or are we gonna split it down the middle? Because I'm fine with either. Is Chris gonna be pissed at you? Chris, who? Chris, the dude, you're fucking. Come on. Right there. Did you hear his voice change? Oh. I don't know. Very obvious. <laughs> Very obvious. Ooh. He's jealous over something, so he's asking about Chris. So obviously he's jealous of what you're doing. I don't think I've heard of anything more random than that, actually, but... Oh, God. Let me know about the schedule. And... Well, like I said, 
when I start fucking someone, it's going to be an upgrade from you, not a downgrade. So that I'll feel good about myself for. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, well, Chris, he's just trying to insult you so he's gonna upgrade from you not downgrade so like whatever happened in the relationship he's obviously he's obviously still salty over it's not a fucking upgrade for me I'll tell you that much okay I just let me know about yeah he's not focused on his children whatsoever he's conf- he's, he's focused that you chose somebody else over him you know, and that's, I mean, the, that's the height of narcissism. I mean, that's sociopathic right there. Spring break and what you decide, okay? Alrighty. You're making me not want to talk to you, like, ever again. <laughs> okay. Please. I'll talk to you later, okay? Let that happen. No, you won't. Okay. All right. All right, bye. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah. Uh I really hope that anybody that is gonna actually listen to this recording can hear the change in his voice whenever he uh It doesn't even matter the change of his voice. He's not focused on the children, he's focused on who you're choosing to be with. It has nothing to do with it, you know. It had nothing to do with the children. As that's the only thing he really cares about. He's 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 focused on it. And he sounds like sounds like he sounds like he's real butt hurt. Um, he gets mad. <laughs> he says, "The guy you're effing or whatever." Oh, it just gives me chills. I I don't get this whole. I don't get any of his tactics. I don't get. Why? I don't. I just don't. I don't understand. But I because he's a male borderline. He wants what he wants, and he's gonna lash out when he doesn't get it. Okay, when you don't choose the nar, when you choose someone else over the narcissist, they can't. They can't have that. They can't have you choosing someone else over the narcissist. This is a man, believe it or not. Like this is why he's borderline because he's thinking like a woman in that he's thinking like a woman who thinks with her vagina see instead of a guy who's who who thinks through with his dick like those types who have to just you know worry about where they're gonna stick their dick next like that controls all their actions he thinks like a woman okay so a woman who puts all her value in her vagina so the fact that you're with someone else he takes it as 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 a fucking personal insult, he's got he's got sand in his man vagina. That's what his problem is. He's got sand in his mangina. That that that's who your ex husband is. You chose someone else. Now he's got sand in his mangina. I can say that I'm finally I'm finally understanding the cycle. I'm finally understanding what not to react to anymore because used to any, I mean, I would, I've y'all, I've got a fiery temper. I really do. And I've got a big mouth and it's, that's just, you know, it's part of my personality. Sometimes it works in my favor and sometimes it, it gets me in trouble. And, you know, for a long time through our relationship, when he would poke and try to provoke and that kind of stuff, I would fly off the handle and it just made things obviously worse and then you know a few months well that's what he's trying he's trying to get the reaction out of you because once you're emotional he feels he can control you it's back i started to realize that like the less that i say and the more neutral that i stay in my tone and my answers the better for everybody but that just it actually makes him even more adamant on yeah, because you getting upset gets his mangina all fucking hot and bothered. Helps keep the salt, the, the sand out of it. And trying to like break me. I don't, it's just, anyway, I hope that made sense. Uh, anybody that's lived through it, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying, but, um, I. He's a borderline male 
with sand in his mangina. That's what he is. I have sent this recording, actually, the full recording to um, the therapist, the kid's therapist. And uh, in Texas, it's legal to record a two-person conversation as long as one of the people uh, know about it. And obviously, I do. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to record everything and, and, and let him show everybody what is really happening. So I'm not defending myself. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not running around, you know, pointing fingers and this and that. It's just, I'm trying really hard to just continue to gather these types of recordings and text messages and stuff and just show them to the people that actually count and matter when it comes to making decisions for my kids and my family. And the truth will always come out. And by the way, this Chris guy that he <laughs> is referencing is somebody from my hometown that I have not seen uh, in probably close to 20 years. Doesn't 15 matter. To 20 years. Doesn't matter. He thinks you chose someone else over him. He's got sand in his mangina because he thinks like a woman, thinks like a jealous woman. And I'll tell you something else. He probably has issues with his own sexuality guaranteed and i feel so sorry for this guy i don't know why he got randomly picked out of whatever social media account uh but because he might have saw it one day so just that's what caught his eyes who's better than me look when the borderline man when the borderline male gets sand in his mangina like this. They're looking who could it be. Because it can't be him that drove you away. So it has to be something else. Someone else. Oh, must be this guy. Because that's who he was most threatened by. Um, anyway, so. Alrighty. Thanks for listening if you got through it this long. Um, if anybody else is dealing with co-parenting with a covert narcissist, I am so sorry and just keep the faith that truth is always going to prevail. Bye. So, I mean, he's borderline. He thinks through his mangina. So any, any, any reason, it can't be him the reason you left. It has to be someone better. Okay, because that's how he thinks. He didn't ask about the kids. All he cares about is who you left him for. Because it couldn't have been for him, for for his behavior or anything he's he's done. So, I hope that helps. Thank you for your contribution and your story, Anonymous. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this to someone who needs help and can't afford it. Or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful. Because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.